This here is the Hexapod, a brand new Hex robot by Stemi. Now this robot features 18 servos and has LEDs, touch sensors, among a variety of other features. Now the beauty thing about this is it originally comes in a box like this, meaning you have to build it from the ground up. Now it comes with awesome images as well as 3D models, teaching you step by step how to go ahead and design as well as build, even creating your own app as well. So the idea of it is actually very unique and it is a great product in terms of STEM education. So without further ado, let's go ahead and first rewind, unbox this thing and see what it's all about. So this here is our box and surprisingly it's not that large. So let's go ahead and slide this up. Now as we kind of open it up here, we'll give you more steps here. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and unpack. So before unpacking, log into the STEMI education platform and then you can go ahead and learn about the different parts by this website, including 3D modeling, robot assembly, mobile application creation, and the basics of programming and electronics. Start taking these things out here. Wow, that's actually a, a good amount of parts. So we have ourselves a user manual here. Now we have a few different things here. Everything nicely labeled based on their numbers. All the different parts here. Wow, look at this. You got servos. Comes with a little screwdriver as well. Screws, nuts, and bolts. So this here is the circuit board. Now the circuit board itself has a variety of different functions on here. So first of all, there is a battery on the back side. Uh, so this here is a 2200 uh, mAh battery as well as a 3.7 volt too. And then on the uh, top side here, we have three touch sensors. Uh, so this will go ahead and program the robot to kind of maneuver based on the way you want it to. Uh, we have a USB port to connect it to our computer in terms of programming. Uh, we have ourselves interface pins. Uh, we have charging LEDs right up here. Uh, we have a reset button, uh, an on off switch with the on off light. And then on this side here, uh, we have our ports for our different servos. Now the pieces that they have here in terms of the Lego, it appears it's all made out of the same, almost like an acrylic uh, ABS plastic kind of feel to it. So it is very, very sturdy. So this thing can take a good amount of durable use. Uh, so very interesting design as well as setup here. So let's go ahead and boot up this app next and start building this bad boy. And here's the end result, uh, a awesome looking robot. Now this here is a hex robot, meaning it has six legs. Uh, overall, the build process of this robot was actually a lot of fun. Uh, the way they lay it out on their website is very detailed. So each of the steps includes an image that is 360. So you can go ahead and rotate around a 3D object, showcasing you exactly how the parts are supposed to come together. Now it's also important to know that STEMI is an educational kit in the shape of a tech adventure, meaning the user becomes part of the STEMI lab and conquers learning quests. This includes the redesign of the robot in a 3D modeling quest, the assembly of the robot in an assembly quest, the app inventory quest in which the user has to make an Android app for controlling the robot, and lastly the final quest in which the user has to prepare the robot for a dance contest. So in terms of 3D modeling lessons, the program itself will teach you exactly how to go ahead and create your own model as well as incorporating it into the robot. This will include showing piece by piece as well as step by step directions on how to go ahead and design as well as make it functional. In terms of app inventor lessons, it literally teaches you how to go ahead and design your very own app as well as implementing it with your robot. Now, in terms of the robot itself, though, it does not weigh that much. Uh, however, you can feel that it definitely has a very nice heavy duty feel. Now, in terms of turning on the robot, there's a simple on off switch right over here. That's, we just go ahead and do this. And there you go, our robot is on. It does have some blinking LEDs on the top here. Now, this here is an app controlled robot, but it also is a free control robot by which I mean that it has sensors on the top here. So if I just click this right here, you'll see that the robot just changes its stance. If I press it again, it'll go ahead and go to three different modes. The first one being just regular control. So if I press the forward or the top sensor button right over here, it'll start walking forward and hit the back button. It'll start walking back. 
And then there's a few other settings as well. So if I click the center home button or the center touch button right here, this here is dance mode. So you'll see that the robot starts dancing and it plays a variety of different colors and the moves start shifting from left to right. And you can see that it does pick up pace. So that's, that's pretty cute. All right, so now if I press the center button again, uh, now you'll notice that the color is green. If I press the dial, you'll see that the colors change based on the touch sensor. And then you press the top one here, it shows all of the different colors. Uh, and you just get a variety of different color formulations. Now, let's go ahead and load up the app next year and get a better feel of the robot itself. All right, so we're using the STEMI Labs app. Uh, we do notice that it does pick up the robot right away via Bluetooth. So we'll click on that robot. All right, now we're officially connected to our robot. And then you have a almost like an RC control kind of layout here. So you have a joystick. Uh, so if I kind of slide to the left, you'll see that he starts moving to the left. If I slide to the right, he'll start moving to the right. If I slide it back, he'll go back. So it gives you the whole X, Y, Z plane. Uh, aside from that, we also have a rotate button. So if I rotate the top dial here, you'll see that he turns. If I tile the other way, he'll turn the other way. Now you'll see two different features on the top. You have tilt mode as well as stretch mode. Now tilt mode uses the accelerometer of your phone and based on the way you tilt your phone, you'll see that the robot is leaning or tilting in the same direction. So you can do left, you can do right, forward, back, you can do a 360. This here is stretch mode. So you'll see that the robot is literally stretching on a different angle based on wherever you're putting it. Even with the rotate button, you'll see that it's stretching to the right, stretching to the left, stretching forward, stretching back, stretching left, right on an angle, and you can do a 360. <laughs> you can do it really fast. <laughs> So that is stretch. Now if we click on the bottom here, we can change it to dancing mode. Now dancing mode will go ahead and have the robot start dancing to the beat. So you'll see it started doing its own special moves, uh, kind of leaning to the right, kind of leaning to the left, uh, and it plays a variety of different colors on the top here in case you were wondering. Uh, so that's actually pretty cool. And it actually does pick up pace as it starts dancing. So that is dance mode, okay? So you can also change the walking styles of the robot. So if you go in walk mode here, you can change the walk height. So you can go really high up or you can go really down low. So we also have a different kind of settings in terms of walking style. So you have a ripple walk. Uh, and then this here is a wave walk. And then this here is just a tripod walk. So on top of that, you also can go ahead and customize the LED on the top here. So you can go ahead and pick a color here uh, from the primary color to the secondary color. You can do LED rotation. Uh, you can do uh, LED speed. So you can control it, make it really fast or really slow. Now you also can do a user mode. A user mode allows you to use it with the uh, education platform. So you can go ahead and customize it, create your own app, and then program it based on that nature. Well, there you have it. This here is the Hexapod robot. And I have to say, it's definitely a very well-defined piece. Uh, I love everything about it, especially from the touch sensors to the app controls itself. It is a well-rounded robotic set. Now, if you guys had any questions, feel free to comment down below. And with that being said, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. But either way, subscribe for more videos. We'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.